of the reasons why young people don't want to go into agriculture, I would say there are a number of them, but the number one is the kind of technology that we are using for agriculture. If we continue to use hoes and catalysis, it will be difficult for young people to go into it. If we can use modern technology, we can modernize agriculture. If we can use mechanization, and mechanization is using basic tools. Sometimes harvesting, what kind of basic tools can you use to, to, to harvest? What kind of basic tools can you use to plant cassava? Instead of using catalyst to dig a hole, you cut the, the stick and put it inside. There are these days a number of tools that you can use to plant cassava. There are a number of equipment that you can use to harvest cassava. So if you have 10 acre cassava farm, you don't need to go and uproot each one by yourself. You can use simple basic tools to uproot cassava. These are things that we need to, to, to promote to uh, attract young people to get into agriculture. The second one is also demonstrating the profitability of agriculture and agribusiness. If we have development institutions, most of their publications, it could be World Bank, it could be UN, most of their publications, the front page, you will always see they have put a woman or a man who looks so impoverished, who is so poor. That's the picture they use on the front page or the cover page of most agricultural documents. Now, what message are you sending? You use that picture and you are asking the young people to get into agriculture. It won't work because already your cover, your cover page says that this is a poor industry that you are entering. So we have to even change from, from that level. We need to demonstrate profitability of agriculture and agribusiness to young people. We cannot just think and say, oh, young people go into agri, young people go into agri. For what? What is in, in, what is in, in there for them? What is the profitability? Will I be better off if I stay in the house rather than go into it? But I can tell you that a Greek of today is different from a Greek of yesterday.